another week another gen ai announcement in today's video we are going to learn about newly released amazon bedrock agent core what is it and how is it different than already existing amazon bedrock agents and strands agents let's work backwards from the end goal of agents you the user may ask different questions to large language model in one go such as what's the time in new york what's the weather in new york and list the s3 buckets in my aws account yes you can ask questions not related to each other to llms in one go now llm doesn't have any idea about the time weather or s3 buckets so in that case it needs agents an agent will use different tools to perform these tasks it will call tool one to get latitude longitude of new york city another tool to get time another tool to get weather using that latitude longitude and another tool to get s3 buckets using your aws credentials and this is the superpower of agents you the user do not need to code this workflow you don't need to say if the user asks whether call this tool first or call that tool then go call s3 agents will autonomously and automatically call the different tools it may call one tool first and if it doesn't give it the answer it will call another tool automatically you don't have to code if else or any of that so this is the concept so then how do you implement it so the first iteration is bedrock agents with existing bedrock agents you need to code a lambda function for each tool large language model needs to be hosted in bedrock and then you code these agents using something called action group and then you'll have four different lambda function lambda function one for tool one lambda function two for tool two you got the idea and when you create this lambda function you need to give a description and the input parameter and the agent will invoke these different tools based on the description i mean it has to know which lambda function is doing what action so this is the first agent implementation on aws so with bedrock agents you can only use bedrock hosted large language models you the developer needs to code and maintain all these different lambda functions the, and that means you need to code and test it yourself and then the agent invokes the tool based on provided description and parameters and the more tools longer it takes because you need to code the tool, test it, as well as provide appropriate descriptions and parameters. However, the infrastructure is fully managed by AWS and it's easy to integrate Bedrock guardrails because this is also integrated in Bedrock. Now, this is okay, but this is very clunky. That's when the second iteration came in, which is AWS strands. And I purposely put all the tools within this AWS trans boundary because that's exactly what AWS transit is gives you a framework to use all the tools and LLM in a very simple and short amount of code. And this is the mind blowing part of AWS trans. Unlike bedrock agents where you need to go and code all these different tools, trans comes with a lot of powerful tools out of the box. So I know this part is a little confusing. So let me show you real quick and then we're gonna get back to the presentation. So this is a sample strand Python program. Look, all I'm doing is importing current time, HTTP request and use AWS. So let's say this use AWS tool allows you to ask anything about your AWS account in plain English. And you don't need to code anything. So for example, if I scroll down in the agent, I'm saying use this, use AWS tools, that is it. And then I'm just asking the agent, list the S3 buckets in my AWS account. This agent will autom automatically determine, oh, so this question is about the AWS account. It will use the use AWS tool and it will get you the information of S3 buckets. So this is a major upgrade from bedrock agents where you don't need to code this different tool you don't need to put description and all that stuff so what are some of the characteristics of aws trends unlike bedrock agents aws trends can use llm hosted in bedrock or any external agents using the api keys no coding required for 
common tools. It can automatically invoke the appropriate tool without you giving any description. So if we summarize it, bedrock hosted or external large language models, it comes with 20 powerful tools that you can use without coding. And in addition to that, you can also write your own tool. And everything in one single concise code base, no multiple lambdas needed like bedrock agents. So at this point, you are like, okay, I coded this strands agent. How do I run this on AWS, right? So if I go back to my Visual Studio code, so this is the strands agent, but this is running in my laptop, right? Because this is just a code. It's great, but then how do I implement this on AWS? And if I want to do it myself, I have to implement this in some compute, put a API gateway, application load balancer. I need to make sure I need to scale it, implement authentication authorization, all that stuff. This is where agent core comes into play. Okay, so let's understand. So at this point, you have your AWS trans code. So what is trans code? Trans code is basically the, your Python program and then a requirements.txt which lists all the libraries that you need in your strands core. Now, with agent core, if you run a command, and we are gonna see all this in demo, agent core configure, it will go create a Docker file for you to containerize all these components. Now, you are like, okay, I got the Docker file, so what? This is the cool part. Then if you run a command agent core launch, AWS will automatically put your Python program, the requirements.txt program and Docker file in an S3 bucket on your AWS account. Then it will run AWS code build, which will run your Docker file and create a container. It will automatically save the container in a ECR repository. And finally, it will run this container in this newly released agent core with an endpoint. And once it has an endpoint, any user or application can invoke it. And it does all of it with just these two commands. So let's take a deeper look at this agent core. So agents run on serverless micro VMs managed by AWS. Okay, this part is super cool. Out of the box, Gen AI logging and tracing. So AWS created a new Gen AI insights on CloudWatch. And we are also gonna see this part in action in our demo. And again, it creates all these CloudWatch log groups and tracing, monitoring all this for you. If you have a Lambda function or an API, you can convert that into MCP server using this agent core. And what if you say, Raj, I like the agent core, how it is managing the infrastructure, but I, I already adopted third-party agentic frameworks like, like Crew AI, LangGraph, etc. Not a problem. You don't have to use strands for this. You can bring in any third-party agentic frameworks. And it is easy to add authentication and authorization. Let's put all of this to action using a agent core demo. By the way, if you want a detailed text explanation of the code I'm gonna go through, along with a little bit more detailed explanation in the text format, subscribe to my newsletter. It's totally free at cloudwithraj.com slash newsletter. I'll give the link in the description as well. All right, this is my strand code, and this is doing the exact use case that I talked about. It's deriving the time, the weather, and <laughs> listing S3 buckets. And this is the strands magic, so I'm importing current type, HTTP request, and use AWS. That's it, I did not need to code anything. So literally, I'm just asking these questions and see list the S3 buckets in my account. Strands will figure out what tool to invoke in what order and it will do it. See, you are not seeing a large language model specified here. So if you don't specify anything, it's using um, Anthropic Cloud Sonnet 4 uh, from my AWS account in Bedrock. How is it doing that? Because this is running in my local and I have to run this code in my terminal. So you just literally type AWS configure, give AWS credentials, and that's how it's accessing uh, my AWS account. Uh, so if I uh, run this code, so if I do this, Python weather time strands, okay, then it should invoke the tools. Again, I did not ask it to invoke in a specific order. Look, it's doing it. And it is, it was all, it is also calling same tool multiple times, right? Look, HTTP request, 
HTTP request, it's all doing autonomously. That's the power of agents. So it gave the current time in New York City, current weather in New York City. Uh, it's, it's quite pleasant today. And it also uh, used uh, use AWS uh, tool and said you have 16 uh, S3 bucket in my account. Pretty cool. And I also have the requirements, the text, uh, trans agents, trans agent tools. And for the agent core demo, I also included a bedrock agent core. All right, so this code is great, but it is running in my local laptop, right? So uh, now let's implement this in AWS using agent core. To use your code in agent core, you need to make a couple small changes. Uh, so basically you need to create an app for bedrock agent core app. And then if I scroll down, you have to give app dot entry point uh, because agent core needs to know when your code is invoked, where should it start executing from? Then the rest of the code is literally the same, the query, the response, all that stuff. And I'm going to uh, share this code and explain a little bit in detail in my newsletter. So please subscribe if you want to. So now let's uh, run the agent core commands. This is the command agent core configure dash E, then name of your strands Python program. If I press enter, okay, so it is going to create a role for us. Press enter. It's gonna create a CI repository. Okay, requirements.txt, press enter. Look at this, configure OAuth authorizer. So if you want, it can configure a OAuth authentication authorization for you. For this demo, I'm just gonna say no. That's it. All right, so if you noticed on the left for the eagle-eyed viewers, so it created this Docker file. So if I click this, it literally took my requirements.txt and the code, and also it included this open telemetry, and it, cre and it created the Docker file. So my code is ready to be containerized. Okay, and it also says, hey, run agent core launch next. So let's run agent core launch. So now it's doing a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna go through it. All right, so it's deployed and actually running, but let's just learn a little bit first before we invoke it. So if I go to my S3 buckets, okay, look, it created this S3 bucket, a bedrock agent core code build, if I click this, and this is the agent core weather time strands. Okay, and then it zipped everything in source.zip. Now let's go to code build. Okay, if I go to code build, it created the bedrock agent core weather time strands builder. Uh, if I click this, and then if I click the latest run and see it ran the Docker file. Uh, you can actually see the build spec. So if I click build details and scroll down, here we go. This is, you can think of it like AWS's uh, DevOps tool where it can uh, run the build spec, which is similar to Jenkins file in Jenkins. It's basically running the Docker build, right? Um, and then at the end, if I open this and it should go to Elastic Container uh, Registry. Uh, here we go, Bedrock Agent Core, Weather Time Strands. So it created the container image and saved it. And finally, it's, it's running it in Agent Core. So if I go to Amazon Bedrock Agent Core, I click Agent Runtime from the left, Agent Core Weather Time Strands, version five. If I click this, there you go. There is the endpoints and whatnot. All right, so let's invoke it. So let's go back to the terminal. We can invoke it like agent core invoke. This is the name of the app dot entry point function and then a prompt. In our case, we kind of hard coded the location so the payload doesn't matter, but let's invoke it. Now there is something interesting. So it gave us the time, the weather. However, look, it failed to list all the S3 buckets. Why? It's because the agent code is running with a predefined role with access to only with specific services. So it doesn't have access to my S3 buckets. So let's do this. Now we are going to go to CloudWatch, find the log for this and fix it. How about that? All right, so if I go back to agent core, look, observability, observability, click view, observability. 
Okay, so this is the brand new Gen AI observability. This is Bedrock Agent Core, and this is the agent. If I scroll down, uh, if I click this arrow, okay, this is the Bedrock Agent Core default. If I click this, so it's going to show all kinds of metrics and stuff and traces. So a lot of fancy stuff, latency. However, we want the logs. If I go to log groups, if I type agent core, okay, this is ours, right? Agent core weather time strands. If I click this, okay, this is October 1st. Click this, this is all the logs. So that's pretty cool that it shows all the logs. And this is the error, AWS S3 uh, buckets. And it says, unfortunately, I don't have necessary permissions to list your brackets, da da da, da. You can find the role from the terminal. Uh, we are going to cheat a little bit. We are just going to go to IAM, okay, roles. And then we are going to sort by last activity. Here you go, Amazon Bedrock Agent Core. So it has to be this one. Um, these are the policies. So basically it has access to CloudWatch and Bedrock at this point. Let's add the S3 bucket permission. So add, attach policy, S3. Okay, let's give uh, S3 read-only access. Click add permissions. All right, so now let's try to uh, run this again. Okay, and now the error should go away. All right, now it worked, right? So now it shows the time, weather, as well as the S3 buckets, right? So the error is gone. Big question, should you learn this agent core or this will be useless in few months? I tried agent core a couple months back in July when it was released and uh, it was quite clunky back then. There was no Docker file that's created for you. I got a lot of errors. I really, really like this iteration and based on the features it's released with, I strongly believe this will be the flagship AWS agent platform. I believe AWS is gonna do more stuff with it. I am checking the GitHub activity, so a lot of action there. So, so what does that mean for existing Bedrock agents where you have to go create action group and Lambda? If you are starting today, you don't need to learn that because after trying it both, no one's gonna adopt regular Bedrock agents because this agent core is running in AWS itself. So it can have all the advantages of bedrock agents like integration with bedrock LLMs, guardrail, etc., without the downsides of creating and testing your own lambdas, giving description, all that stuff. No one's gonna do that. So if I have to predict something, I think AWS is gonna reduce or eliminate releasing features for bedrock agents and focus everything on this agent core. And with that, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Bye.